Hi Fluids, Miss Mortimer here and today we are going to have a look at the Grade 1 piece Lazy Sunday. Now then, what have we got in the key signature? A B flat, so yeah that means we're in the key of F major, so I think we'll play our F major scale as a warm up. F major scale, we go F, G, A, B flat, C, high D, high E, high F. Here we go. Three, four. Okay, great, so on to Lazy Sunday. We've already identified the key signature, F major. There are, however, a couple of accidentals, so added flats or sharps that we'll need to have a look at. And the first one is on the last bar of the top line, and it's an um, A flat. So for an A flat, we actually play our G fingers and then add on this little finger key here. And then the next one we need is an E flat, which is your high D fingers plus the little finger key. So usually we have to remember to take that one off to play a D. But for an E flat, we're going to leave it on. So it's your high D fingers plus the little finger key. Yeah, great. And we'll come on to them later. Now then, we are in the time signature of 4-4. Four, four. So there's four beats in a bar. One, two, three, four. And at the top, it says allegretto, which means quite lively. But then it also says quaver equals, and then you've got a crotchet and a quaver in a triplet. What that means is we are going to do something called swing, swing our quavers. Instead of playing our quavers very evenly, one and two and, we're going to make the first one of each pair a bit longer and the second one of each pair a bit shorter. So it'll go one and two and one and two. Or um, a lot of people like to say, jazzy, 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 jazzy. So I'll show you. If I played the first bar without any swing, it would sound like this. If we add in the swing and make every other note a little bit longer, it has a bit more of a jazzy feel to it. Okay, so let's clap the rhythm of the first line. I like to think of the first bar as It's a lazy Sunday, because that fits with the title. But you can make up whatever words you like. Okay, so let's clap the first line. A uh, one and two and three and four. One more time, one and two and three and four. Great job, now let's have a look through the notes. We go high F, 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 C, C, A, C. So let's play that first bar. One and two and three and four. Second bar, same notes, different rhythm. F, C, A. Let's play that. Three and four. Third bar, same as the first bar. Three, four. And now we come to our A flat, A flat, G, just lift it off your little finger, G, F, G. So it'll go, da, 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 three, four. Okay, let's try the whole of the first line. One and two 
and three and four. Great, the second line starts like the first line. The first bar is exactly the same. Two, three, four. And then we get to a slightly tricky bar. We've got F, C, E flat. Remember, that's your D with the little finger. E flat, D, C. Let's practice those fingers again. F, C, E flat. D, C. Let's play that in slow motion. Three, four. And now in tempo. Three and four. If you're still finding it tricky, put a circle around it and then the next time you come to practice it, just practice that bar on its own. We'll carry on for now. The third bar of this line is exactly like... No, it's not. It's different. The third bar is a little bit different. Same notes, different rhythm. F, F, C, C, A, A, F, F. So two of each. Three and four. flat G F three four great let's play the second line all the way through two and three and four To the bottom line. That means normal A, that sign, back to a normal A. A, A, B flat, because the key signature, B flat, B flat, A, D, A, A, B flat, B flat, A, D, three and four. As the first bar on this line. A, A, B flat, B flat, A, D, three, four. And then F, G, A, G, all high, keep it high, three, four. Great, let's play the whole of the third line. Two, three, four. doesn't sound quite finished and it's not because it says DC al fine. DC stands for da capo in Italian which means go back to the head, go back to the start of the piece, al fine until the end and you can see that fine is marked at the end of the second line. So the whole piece we play line one, line two, line three, back to the start, play line one, and line two, and then that's the end. So we sort of play it one and a half times through. Okay, when you're happy with your rhythms and your notes and your articulation, because it's just tongued all the way through, then it's time to look at the dynamics. We've got an F on the first line, which is loud, and a P on the second line, quiet. And then a little crescendo towards the end of the second line, getting louder, but then back to P again on the bottom line and again a little crescendo towards the end of the line and then when you go back to the start the first line will be loud again okay and um, watch the next video for a full performance of it if you want to have a practice of playing along happy practicing and see you next time 
One and two and three and four.